Got your big, bright, nice, shiny media server all set up and working on your big screen TV, but you can't watch it from outside your own network. Well, today, we're going to fix that. Port forwarding. Most of the time, you won't even have to worry about this when you're setting up Plex. However, there's a small chance, for various reasons, you may actually run into problems trying to connect to your server from off your home network. To get this working, I'm going to walk you through setting up port forwarding in Plex and on an example router. But Jason already know how to port forward. It's just not working. It just isn't working. <laughs> okay, okay. Just make sure you watch this anyways. Sometimes people run into problems for the sole reason that they already know how to port forward and didn't read the instructions. If that's you, well, I'll give you a hint. Plex always uses an internal port of 32400. Always. So let's get started. To get started, you're going to want to load into Plex. Now usually you can load up Plex by going down in the far bottom right hand corner of your screen and double clicking the Plex media server icon and that'll bring up your server. Then you go up to the top right of the screen and you hit settings. This will bring you to your settings page. Once you're in the settings page, you're going to go over here, you're going to click on server. You're going to click on the left hand side connect. Click show advanced. And you're going to see your connection settings here. And you have an option to manually specify a port or do set it up automatically. Uh, now for mine, since it hasn't connected correctly, it's given me an option to manually specify the port. Now, if you know how to port forward and you've already port forwarded, you probably already tried to set this up and it may have failed on you, which is why you're here. So let's say I want to specify the port 50,000. That's the top of the scale. Usually when you're port forwarding something like this, you can stay between 20,000 and 50,000. So I'm just going to stay on the very top of 50,000. And I'm going to hit retry. And here in a couple seconds, it should fail. Yep, there you go. So it was unable to connect to Plex. However, I am still signed in. So that means that we have to port forward. So we're gonna go over here to your router. Now you can access your router by typing 192.168.1.1 in your web browser. That's the, that's the main IP address for most routers. Your router might be different, you might have to look up your router online to figure out the administration uh, IP address, but most of them are going to be that same IP address. Once you go there, it's going to ask you to log in. Again, most of the time you're going to have to look up your user manual or go online to look for the default administrative password if you don't already know this. So I'm going to assume that you know this or if you found a way to get in. This is a Linksys uh, Cisco router. So I'm going to go over here to Applications and Gaming. It's already taken me to the single port forwarding page. So in here, this is where I'm going to set up forwarding. So I'm going to go ahead and name this port forward so I know what it is later. I'm going to name it Plex. And then the external port, I typed in a number of 50,000. Now here's where it gets tricky, because unless you actually read the instructions, you may not know, but the internal port for Plex is always 32400. It's always 32400. If you type in 50,000 for internal port and you forward this to your computer, which I'm going to forward it to mine, I'm going to say, I'm going to click enabled, I'm going to save this. All right. I'm going to try this again, but you're going to notice it's not going to work. And you're like, well, what the heck? It's supposed to work. Well, that's because of the internal port is always 32400. So let's go back over here. I'm going to change this 50,000 to 32400. So this is saying any external ports request coming in on the port number of 50000 will be redirected to the internal port of 32400. And that is going to send all signal types to a static IP address that I assigned to my computer on the network. If you don't know how to do that, that's going to be later on in the video when I'm going through some troubleshooting steps for you. And then you're going to want to make sure you click Enabled. So we're going to save this. 
go back over here to Plex. We're going to keep that at 50,000. Hit retry. There it is. Server is mapped to port 50000. Working perfectly. You can change this port again from anything between 20,000 and 50,000. If you want to keep it real simple, you can change it to 32400. Go back over to your router. 32400. Perfect. 32400. Okay. Now, if you don't have a static IP address assigned to your Plex server or your main computer, you're going to want to do that. So for in this instance, I have my main computer set up, or my main Plex server set up to 123. Uh, so it's every time, it's always 192.168.1.123. It's easy for me to remember. If you don't have this set up, every router is going to have a different method of accessing it. But for this particular router, a Cisco Linksys, we're going to go to Setup, and you're going to look for something called DHCP Reservation. We're going to click on that. This DHCP Reservation is going to show you some different um, connected devices. So for mine, mine is already in here. So I have my computer name. And then I have my address. So if you want to add a client, um, what you want to do is you want to find the connected device on your network. So let's say I wanted to add my wife's uh, computer to have a static IP address on the internal network instead of always changing. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click select. I'm going to click add client. And that's going to pop it up down here. And I have the option here to change the IP address. But I don't want to change the IP address, so I'm just going to keep it the same. All I have to do is remember, if this is a computer I'm going to set up Plex on, what that last uh, three-digit number is. And then I'm going to hit Save Settings. So that 139, if I was rerouting to my wife's laptop, I could go back over to the port 40, and I could change this to 139. Again, if that was the correct computer. But since mine is already set up, I'm going to go ahead and keep it pointing to 123. You want to make sure that you have a static IP address set up for your internal computer or on your internal network, or it's always going to be changing. It's going to cause you a headache. It's just something you have to set up, especially if you have to do manual port forwarding. So let's say you've done all this. You've went through, you routed static IP address to your computer. You've forwarded a Plex IP address that goes to your internal port of 32400 to whatever Destin port that you set. I'm going to go ahead and set this back to something else. I'll do it later, actually. Um, so you went, you went through here. You got your, for, your port forwarding set up. You got your static IP address set up. Everything is set up here, both here. But when you try to connect, it's still showing that it's not connecting. Well, the next troubleshooting step for you to do is to disable any firewalls that you might have. There's applications out there called things like peer blocking, um, McAfee, security suites, internet antivirus, uh, anything like that uh, that you might have installed on your system, you want to disable the firewall for. Later on, you can look into whatever program you're using and you can specify uh, to allow Plex to go through a specific port if you find out that was the problem or you can allow a certain program if you find out that was the problem. But for this, this instance, let's go ahead and assume that you have a Windows firewall. So in order to change that, we're going to go Start, Control Panel, go over to System Security, Windows Firewall. Now, I had my Windows firewall turned off, but let's go in here. We're going to turn, actually, go to Advanced Settings, Windows Firewall Properties. Here you have three properties. You have domain profile, private profile, and public profile. So what you want to do is if these are turned on, you want to turn them all off. I'm going to turn mine on because, well, mine's already working, so I can turn it back on. But let's say if they are on, you want to go through each one of these and turn them off and click OK. That's going to turn all of your Windows firewalls off. Then you're going to go in here and you are going to retry if you haven't connected before to see if it connects. 
if it does connect and the only change that you did was change your firewall what that means for you then is that there is something wrong with your firewall where it's not allowing that port to come through so we're going to go back over here we are going to go to advanced settings we're going to go to inbound rules right click on inbound rules hit new rule click on port next specify a local port here so 32400 hit next sorry the heater just came on um, we're going to allow the connection on all profiles we're going to name this Plex that way even with your server on it should be able to route it we're going to check this out again which it should work shouldn't be anything different And there you go. You should now be connected. If you followed all of these steps and you're still not connected, then you could be behind a double NAT. Uh, a double NAT is basically two routers. If you have a wireless router and a physical router tied together somehow. If that's the case, then I can't show you how to fix that because I actually don't have two routers to do that with. But a simple YouTube search for something like how it port forward through two routers should help you out pretty easily. Hopefully though, you should be now connected. If you like this video, please click like and don't forget to subscribe. You can't seem to watch your TV or movies from off your network. Sounds like you got a deal, a problem. You got a prop. It just not work. It's just, it's just, it just. But Jason, I know how to forward the ports. R forward the ports, Captain. I already know how to forward porties. Ports, ports, ports. <laughs> <laughs>